everyone, this is Raven from Pressing the Panty Button. And today I've got for you a video that I think everybody can relate to, whether you have a mental illness or you don't. And that is self-care. Now of course, if you look at Pinterest, you're going to see self-care stuff all over the place. And you're not gonna know what, because there's so much information. It's like, what do I do? Do I drink 3,000 cups of green tea a day? Do I soak myself in lavender almond butter? Do I, I don't know, go and sit in a hot tub with rose petals and butterflies and all that jazz? No. You don't have to do any of that really fancy stuff. But I mean, unless you want to do it, then go for it. But I've looked at a lot of self-care things, and even now, I still have no freaking idea about exactly how to do self-care. And especially, personally, with living with mental illness, that is something that's very, very important. So I have now kind of figured out a way to figure out self-care. And it's in two categories, physical and mental slash emotional. We'll put them both together into mental. So basically body and mind. So first part of self-care is the body, the physical. So examples would be like, have you drank enough water today? Because dehydration is a thing, guys. And even like just drinking one cup of water. If you even like, you know what, right now, if you haven't drank water today, go get some. One, two, three, go. Do you have the water yet? Sweet. My water is on my desk over there, actually. Um, and of course, living in a society where we need to get things done, 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 now, 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 we tend to rely a lot on caffeine and energy drinks and coffee and stuff like that. And, you know, caffeine is very dehydrating for the body, actually. And I know you hear that on Pinterest a million times, like, it's going to dehydrate you, you need to drink water. But personally, take it from a biology major. You need water to survive. Next thing is, are you eating good foods? Like, you don't have to be like a vegan or be like that number one healthy eating person who eats nothing but avocado toast. No. Because I mean, not everybody can eat a perfectly balanced diet. I mean, that's hard to do. You're already trying to balance the rest of your life. And balancing food is kind of hard. So, you know, at least see if you're getting your nutrients. And if you're not, maybe take a multivitamin. Um, make sure you're eating things that are delicious, not only for your body, but for your taste buds and for your soul. Is there any foods that you guys think is delicious to the soul? To me, it's macaroni and cheese, especially baked mac and cheese. Yum. So if you want to eat comfort foods, do it. Everything's great in moderation. If you want to just eat nothing but carrots, don't OD on them because then you'll actually turn orange and you'll die. That's bad. So next thing about physical is hygiene. Have you taken a shower in a while? If not, go take one. Even if you don't really need to take one, but you feel really crappy, go take a shower. Because taking a shower feels wonderful. It's all nice and warm, and you can play your favorite music, and it's just a lot of fun. Or if you want to take a bath, sit in the bathtub. You can use bath bombs. And I mean, if you don't have a bath bomb, you can, like, you can do a bath using Epsom salt and baking soda. They help to relax your muscles, draw out stuff, and baking soda also makes your skin really soft, which is awesome. And also, have you brushed your teeth today? Have you put on deodorant? Have you cleansed yourself? Do you have clean clothes on, even if it's a lazy day? Wearing the same pajamas for like days on end gets kind of gross. So put on sweatpants and a tank top. That's one of my favorite lazy outfits. Just something to make you feel more refreshed and a little cleaner. Because when we feel really gross and dirty, then you feel even lower about yourself. And self-care, the goal of self-care is to make yourself feel better, not worse. Better, not worse. <laughs> Another thing is exercise. Have you moved today? Or have you sat in your bed and just stared at the ceiling? If you've done that, then, you know, get up. Go for a walk. Dance to your favorite music. Um, Play an active game like Twister, or if you play Pokemon Go, go hatch eggs. Whatever you can do to get your body moving. Because it gets your heart pumping, it gets oxygen flowing, your body will thank you. And of course the most important thing 
is that it releases good neurotransmitters and they make you feel really happy and having happy feelings is a good thing. And now we get to the mental aspect of self-care. What do you do to feel better? Like if you've done everything physically, why not mentally? One thing is do something you love to do. Um, that could be read a book, it could be knitting a sweater, it could be, I don't know, vacuuming. Whatever you want to do that, you, that will help you feel better, do it. Because, especially if you haven't done it in so long, it feels really nice to do something you really love doing. Reward yourself. You've worked your butt off doing all sorts of stuff. Like, you could have had a day of cleaning your room, doing laundry, studying for tests, doing homework, all sorts of stuff. And of course, in today's world, we're always push, 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 go, 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 do, do, do. And you just always feel like you have to do more. You have to do more and you don't get a break and you don't get rewarded. And so even if, like, reward yourself because being rewarded feels pretty awesome. Like you could go do your favorite thing or, I don't know, get that big king size chocolate bar and just shove it down your face hole. Anything to just kind of boost yourself up. Do deep breathing. This is both physical and mental. It gets more oxygen flowing into your system and it helps also for stress relief, especially for those of us with anxiety. Breathing is good, so. That will help with the mental and the physical. Last thing to think of is compliment yourself or be able to receive compliments. If someone tells you, hey, you have nice hair, just be like, oh, thank you. And be able to receive that. And even if you don't believe it at first, you'll have that thought of, oh, Someone thinks I have nice hair. I do have nice hair. It's so nice. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video about self-care tips. If you want to see more about general psychology, then please look at the videos for psych to go And if you'd like to see what life is like with generalized anxiety disorder, then you can follow me on my channel, pressing the panda button. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye.